Okay, we have a bike today that I don't think you're gonna forget the name of. It's the Pucky Puppy, and it's the Flamingo. We're gonna test ride and review it. It's a cool looking bike. It has dual suspension. It goes 28 miles per hour, and it has some nice four by 26 inch fat tires on the bike as well. We're gonna see what this bike has to offer. And if you're interested in purchasing one, there'll be links in the description for you to do so. So uh, let's not waste any more time. Let's get to it. We are taking the Puppy Puppy Flamingo out on her first test ride. Let's take this puppy out and see how it does. Okay, so we are dropping the Flamingo down to pedal assist level zero, and we're pedaling it like a regular pedal bike in gear four. Okay, let's drop it down to gear one. We're on flat ground, and we're pedaling the Flamingo like a regular pedal bike, and uh, there you have it. She's doing a fine job. And uh, flat ground, up slight inclines, you're not gonna have trouble. Very few bikes I can imagine you wouldn't be able to move on flat ground or up some slight inclines. And it's no different with the uh, Hucky Puppy Flamingo. This bike will do just fine. We're gonna head out to the main road. We're gonna test a few things out with this bike. It is a pretty dreary day out here today. So the nice thing about the dual suspension, I don't have to dodge all these little bumps on this bike trail, because this bike trail has been getting worse. But uh, hitting the bumps, no problem. It's got a horn on it. Love a horn on a bike. So this bike will go 20 miles per hour throttle only, and it'll do 20 to 30 miles per hour with pedal assist. So let me go ahead and pull over and show you what this bike looks like. So there it is, the Pucky Puppy Flamingo. We're gonna be putting it to the test for sure. It's got some nice juicy 26 by uh, four inch fat tires. It looks like you can remove the uh, decal if you want it, if you don't wanna have puckypuppy.com on the side. This is a sharp looking bike. It really is. And it's dual suspension. Got that hot 320 shock. And the uh, front forks have uh, some suspension as well. So we're keeping the bike the way it is, right out of the box. The only thing we did was we added a side mirror because we were riding in the road and we want to ride safe. Let's, uh, let's get back on the road. So my first impression about this bike is, uh, this is a sharp looking bike. You know, for a, for 13, I think it's 1300 and 1300 and something dollars. I'll post up the current cost on Amazon because I think it was like 1600 and something dollars and there's like a $300 off um, coupon on there right now. So uh, it's not a bad price. Let's take a look at some of the specs on this bike. You're gonna have a 750 watt brushless hub motor. It's gonna have a thousand watts at its peak. 30 miles per hour on this bike with pedal assist and 20 miles per hour throttle only. You're gonna have a 48 volt, 20 amp hour battery with Samsung cells and a 54 volt, two amp charger that's gonna charge this bike in six to eight hours. Removing the battery is really simple. You're just gonna insert your key Turn it, flip the latch, and the battery drops right out. To reinsert it, just push it back up, turn your key, simple as that. The range on this bike is gonna be between 45 and 75 miles. So this bike has dual suspension. So the sensor on this bike is gonna be a cadence sensor. To the front, you're gonna have hydraulic suspension forks. They're adjustable with lockout a hot 320 suspension shock to the center of the bike. The frame of this bike is built with 661 aluminum alloy, 26 by four inch fat tires on this bike with some pretty aggressive thread for some off-roading. So you're gonna have a nice, bright, colorful display. It's really easy to see it in the daytime. You're gonna see things like your pedal assist level, one through five. You're gonna see your miles per hour, your battery strength, your pedal assist level, your trip, your total miles. To the left, you're gonna have your control buttons. You're gonna change between your different pedal assist levels by hitting up and down. You have a light, your power, and a horn that's integrated into the front light. 
a thumb throttle, a seven speed Shimano thumb shifter, right front light, some grips with some nice palm rest, a comfortable seat. The back light is not integrated into the bike, but it does have three different functions and it's run on battery power. Kickstands to the back of the bike, that's where we like to have it. Hydraulic Logan brakes with 180 millimeter rotors, metal pedals with reflectors, Shimano tourney derailleur. So I do see a class two sticker on the bike, but out of the box, the bike goes 28 miles per hour with pedal assist. 20 miles per hour, throttle only nice tight cable management so if there's features or specs that I didn't mention here today that interest you check out the Pucka Puppy website for more detailed information okay so let's check out our throttle only speed 0 to 20 and here we go we're at uh, 10 miles an hour 15 17 19 20 Look like 11 seconds, 10 or 11 seconds. Stop, reset, zero to 20, here we go. 12, 15 miles an hour, 19, 20. It's 10 seconds, 10 seconds to get to uh, 20 miles per hour. That's pretty impressive. That is really good. Here we go. Stay out of the puddles, we got no fenders. 18, 19, 20, 11 seconds. So 10, 11 seconds to get to 20 miles per hour with this bike, that's really good. It has a 750 watt hub motor. I'm 250 pounds and a 511, so it's pulling some weight around and it's doing what it needs to do. Uh, throttle only zero to 20. Let's go ahead and see what our GPS says. Okay, so uh, let's check our GPS out and see if we're going as quick as the bike says we are. And uh, here we go. So we're doing 1616, uh, 16, 18, 19, 20. Bike says we're doing 20. GPS says we're doing 19. GPS says we're doing 19. So, the GPS says we're going about a mile per hour slower, but I don't know for sure if it's a full mile per hour because uh, it doesn't have decimals. So let's just say uh, we're close. We're within one mile per hour with what the GPS is reading. So we're gonna test out the five different pedal assist levels while we're pedaling. Um, here we go. So in pedal assist level one, we're doing nine miles an hour. Pedal assist level two, 12, 13, 14, and three, 16, 17, 18, 19, and four, 21, 22, 23, and then five, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 28 miles an hour, 29 according to the bike, 28 according to the GPS, so about one mile an hour difference. So uh, yeah, this bike goes 28 miles per hour pretty quick. We're gonna do a brake test and what we're gonna do is we're gonna come right up to this white line here and we're gonna slam on our brake. Every parking spot is nine feet. So, uh, here we go. Let's do it. 20 miles per hour, we'll slam on them brakes. See what we get here. I definitely am hard on these brakes when I do this, so we're really putting a toll on them. 20 miles per hour and slam on them brakes. We're at 20 right now. And uh, here we go. Okay, not too shabby. 12, 15, 18, 19, there's 20. Okay, two and a half spots, that's not bad. These uh, hydraulic disc brakes are doing what they gotta do. 19, 20, here we go. Two and a half spots. 
that's to the front tire that's not bad let me go ahead and let's get this thing as quick as we can go and slam on them brakes 20 22 24 25 26 okay yeah there's four spots and we're definitely gonna need to adjust these brakes for being hard on them harsh on the brakes that was 26 miles per hour 24 there's 25 yeah i'm happy with that i'm happy with that at 25 miles an hour and uh i can smell the rubber we are burning up some rubber over here there it is Look at them tracks we're, we're laying down some rubber you can see our skid mark and i can smell it there's the uh pucky puppy doing its thing so let's go off road and see how this puppy does And uh, there's some heavy rooted areas through here. It's hugging the road nice and tight. Here's the test right here. Yeah, that, <laughs> those are some crazy roots through there. And uh, it did just fine. So uh, that was the spot I was worried about. I'll tell you what. These big uh, 26 inch fat tires and this rear suspension, you don't feel a thing. That's the difference, man. With the dual suspension on this bike, you're gonna be able to take these trails with ease. And uh, it's proving it right here. And these roots sticking up, I'm not losing control. Definitely pleased at how the bike handles um, on these dirt paths with the dual suspension. I mean, it is just uh, smooth. And I'm, uh, I'm hitting some pretty big, heavy duty roots here too, folks. So I'm not just babying this thing. I'm hitting some pretty hard stuff. Yeah, we're definitely hitting some heavy stuff. I have to say it handled better than expected on this, uh, on this trail, no doubt about it. So uh, I guess there you have it, folks. Off-road does just fine. So I did notice the battery popped out on me a few times. Um, and I didn't notice it right away because it kept its connection, even though, even though it popped open. It kept the connection so the bike never turned off. And um, after I noticed that, I did email the company, and I'll keep you updated on their response. I just sent the email out today, so we'll give them a chance to respond. Um, but yeah, and I'll put that in the description if I post this video before that. But uh, yeah, I'm, uh, I'm pleased with the performance off-road. Um, not with the battery popping out, of course. Uh, you don't want that to happen on bumpy roads. But uh, the performance of the bike going through the... Uh, dirt trails it, it just was uh, effortlessly and the front and rear suspension um, felt really good I felt no bumps there's no hard hits even though I was going over some really rough rough terrain okay that's gonna wrap this one up for the test ride and review of the pucky puppy flamingo and uh, this bike did a great job um, I like the fact that it's dual suspension seems to be at a really decent price point for that and uh, if you're interested in purchasing this bike, there'll be links in the description for you to do so. So uh, like always, ride safe, have fun, see ya.